Hello and welcome back to Age of Empires. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. We're continuing our Mongolian campaign, taking on the Great Wall. We're going back in time to 1213. Genghis Khan's bid to expand his empire had brought him to the Great Wall of China. But in his path to the wall, so the mighty Jin fortress of Zhang Jikao, we will take that out. I have played through this once to just give it a test run. This is actually a fairly difficult campaign because you need to make sure that you pay attention to your micro and do some pretty quick city building and movement. So we're gonna play through and hopefully do this right and show you how to beat the Great Wall on hard. We are on the hardest difficulty, uh, which makes it a little difficult. The Qin Fortress of Shang Jaku blocked Genghis Khan's path to the Great Wall. Seeing the strength of the defenses at the front of the fortress, Genghis Khan dispatched his scouts to seek out an alternate approach. Answer Mongol warfare relied heavily on the mobility of mounted scouts. They could travel at high speed, explore the terrain, and gather information on enemy weaknesses. All right, so... The Khan's swift riders advanced up the steep mountain, discovering a hidden path above the Qin Fortress. The key here is you just ride. We're gonna the um, out patrols on the mountain above their fortress. Outride them. The Mongol scouts, although isolated from their army, had the advantage of speed. So they just like kind of stop following you. They're like, yeah, we don't care about scouts. So they just kind of go back to their patrol after you ride by them. There is some gold up here. We're going to grab that in a minute. And we're going to post these guys up right about here. I'll try to keep my units alive. But we're going to lose a lot of them in this, this mission. Which is fine because we'll replenish them. The Mongol riders discovered an embankment leading to the back of the fortress. Here they found far fewer Qin defenses than at the front. Here's our mighty Going army. The defenses at the back of the fortress, Genghis Khan saw his opportunity to attack. The Mongols began their ride to battle. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. If the Mongols took the fortress, they could freely advance on the Great Wall. Alright. You can see they're having some difficulty. This is hilarious. Watching them right up. All right, we have some enemies here. We're actually gonna set these at two. And we'll put on our infantry at a different rate. So Genghis Khan has three abilities, but we need to update our So my Mangudai, which are my favorite unit in the game so far, are going to do just that. We're gonna kite him around. Nope, nope. Oh boy. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, microwing. So they do patrol, so be careful. Normally I thought they were down here, but I guess they can run throughout everything. We got, I think, a hundred gold. Yeah, 100 gold down there. Okay, so these guys down here. Um, here's the deal. We're going to get kind of teed up with everybody. 
We kind of wasted our cooldown there. Um, we are... We're gonna wait. I don't like losing units. Ooh. Ah, we're gonna play the waiting game. We're gonna increase our armor. So we're gonna have our heavy cavalry hit these guys, our archers hit these guys, our light cavalry come around and eviscerate the arrow people. There are a lot of units in here, so we wanna like kind of pull them in groups as we can. Alright, be careful about this thing because it will hurt. The enemy building, claiming valuable spoils from the ruins. Oh boy, they have more archers. Oh, nope. Run from the archers. Oh, what are you doing? Come on. So this thing hurts. So you want to pull him over here because if you fight under this thing, it'll just eviscerate you. Focus, fire him down, create some defensive. All right, nope. See, he just got one shot. He like stupidly ran over there and just got one shot. All right, so optional objective. We want to play optional objectives. Get some bonuses to help us later in the campaign. It's okay to destroy all this. It's not like you're going to take it over. You don't get to take it over. So we're going to take out that tower. We're gonna keep the, the melee over here. We're gonna let our range take these out. Alright, don't get pulled too far over. So we got some bonus resources. Let's group up, spread out, and attack. This one's gonna hurt. We're gonna increase speed. We had a spread out formation there. And look, it's gonna just like one shot. Armor 50 verse range. Wow, we lost a lot of our cavalry. This is not, I did much better on my other playthrough. That's okay. The Mongols sacked the fortress of Shang Jaku, ensuring that they would not be attacked from behind as they advanced on the great. All right, so the key here is speed. We just want to, we want to get the set up. Fortress posing no further threat. Genghis Khan called on his people to bring in their mobile camp. Next, We're going to set up a camp a here. Close to the Great Wall. They targeted the Chin village of Yang Chang. All 
All right, so, oh, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing? All right, economics building is important. Um, we're gonna want some villagers ASAP. So we're gonna put a few of you over here, a few of you over here. Military building. Let's put you over here. Um, what are you? Economic building. Oh, come on. Get set up, guys. What are you doing? Time is of the essence. I thought I already told you to unpack. Why aren't you unpacking? Economic building. Again, why aren't you doing what I'm telling you to do? You're getting disrupted. You're getting distracted. Not good. They're producing sheep. Um, we want you guys to be our builders. So this Uvu is super important. Uvu is like the place to be. Um, so we need to like always pay attention to the Uvu and what's going on with the Uvu and placing buildings by it. So we should have We're gonna build this in range of it. We don't have to actually mine or anything. Um, you're gonna create a bunch of units for us and we're gonna try to advance as quickly as possible. And we're gonna have upgrades. All right. Early Lancer. Um, can you create another? So this thing needs the Ubu. We just need more resources, which we will figure out here in a little bit. We're gonna create another one of these and two of these. So if you guys could uh, get working, that'd be great. You guys. All right. I feel like I'm missing a building that I had before. Maybe not. We. We're not missing any other mobile things, are we? Hearing of the Mongol advance, nearby Qin villages began sending attacks, hoping to weaken Genghis Khan's army. All right, we're gonna build some horsemen. All right, so what are you guys doing? Come on, get up there. All right, lots of people. All right, so here's a critical thing. We need more units before we can um, get to where we want to go. And then we also want to upgrade. We're going to build a deer stone. We just need a little more food, which you guys can help with. Trying to Alright, 
Alright, you guys are going to be our kind of cavalry division. Alright, so now that we can build this thing, we're going to build it right over here. Because I think it's going to speed up like sheep and stuff. And like, this is okay for now. Let's get a few more villagers going to supercharge what we're doing. Ooh. Horses are expensive. Totally get it. Totally get it. Oh, nope. I screwed up. Okay. They're going to work on our kind of tier 2. We're going to send you to do wood. We're going to send you to do some food. All right, we're gonna try to whack this village really quickly, but they keep coming, so we're gonna need defenses. So we can't leave too long. this going all right you're on food four four hunt them down get them all there we go so we're gonna come back here we're gonna let you guys finish this off we wanted to defend our okay you guys are in good shape so this place can upgrade a bunch of stuff which is super important and now that we've advanced we can now also add in archery ranges so we're gonna have you guys do that oh boy no oh no oh boy they had another group come all right I screwed that up. Alright, that's okay. That is okay. So you got we're gonna upgrade these. Um, and then after that we're gonna relocate this thing over the Uvu because we need to be in the Uvu to upgrade other stuff, which is kinda weird, but that's how it works. Um Come on, run him down. Rock, paper, scissors it. Alright, so we're going to destroy this village and then they stop sending people. Which will be super nice because we want to st stop getting attacked. Ooh, all 
right, we're gonna upgrade these to better horsemen. All right, so this village is pretty much destroyed, so let's finish it off. And then we're gonna have to come back. You wanna move quickly, because if you wait, destroying the Qin village. The Mongols had stopped the attacks from its garrison. All right, so they're gonna stop those attacks. We'll kind of run back. So effectively, we're gonna build another one over here. And then we're gonna start supercharging our army here. Why aren't you guys coming all the way back? Okay. We'll kind of figure out who goes where in a second. Um, but I recommend having a couple towers set up. All right, so definitely want a blacksmith. So we're going to build that and a market because then we can kind of trade for gold, which is also pretty efficient. These guys aren't going to heal, so we're not going to worry about it. Always be producing. Can never have too many units. Alright. We're gonna go over here and take out this one on the left. Um, but before we do, let's. that up okay the micro is a rear real oh man they're coming again okay let's wait until they get into arrow range Okay, we're gonna head over here. And we're gonna get these upgrades. So this needs to be over there too. So we're gonna pack this up. And... Let's do some heavy horsemen. All right, now we can get all these upgrades that we want. Um, we also want to produce Trade Center, which is great. All right, let's keep moving. We're going to build a much bigger army. We just have to keep kind of microing a little bit. By a little bit, I mean a lot of it. We 
negative. Arrow superiority 80. here we're gonna trade and that's why we're going to get this one so these guys don't take out our trade route all right we're gonna we need some more gold oh boy uh, we have no all right we have like a weak center We might lose all our units on this. Let's see. Alright, we just need to keep producing. Don't stop. I hate how it puts the Mugadai in front of our front line. I wish we could order it. Which is super annoying. All right, we need more wood. Okay, so this building will let us collect wood. So you do have to do some micro here, that's okay. So they have a ton of archers who we need to like... Finish off the units first. So positioning that over there is a good choice because it makes it easier. We're just researching upgrades. We're gonna pack this up, put this here. Um, so there is gold over here. 
So it does make sense to, or so you can only have one Uvu. So if you build an Uvu here, then you, you gotta move it from the other place. But there's also a gold deposit over here. So keep that in mind. And we have to kill these other two. All right, these villagers are kind of running to the next area. So good to know, always be producing units. Let's get some more heavy, heavy cavalry. Um, so we're gonna actually come over here. We've destroyed this village. Yay for us. We're gonna come back here and regroup. Okay, this is now on the Ubus. You see this plus, that means you have bonus. The bonus, which is important, so now we can upgrade. Um, fitted leather work, increases melee armor of all non-siege units by two. Heck yes. Siege engineering, melee and range, if she can construct siege showers and battering rams. This will be critical, I think, a little bit later when we take on... Um, I've only gotten to this point, so I'm not sure what happens, but I think we're going to need siege equipment. If I'm not mistaken. So we still can produce a lot of units. We have our kind of uh, cap. Mangudai, let's just keep producing. Um, we're going to kind of pull them in. And then after they're softened up. So you only need two of each as long as you keep producing at a steady pace. And then you see this guy is going to trade with this trade post, which is great. So we're going to kind of march over here and take out this last one. Let's replenish our Magudai. Just keeping units building. And these guys are done. So why don't you come over here and we're actually going to yeah, this is... I'm gonna stop that one. Alright. Let's go march and take this one out. This one was the, the the more obnoxious one in the north. That's why we went to go get it. Build siege equipments. We're good. Good. The only things we're going to be re relocating is this thing. Um, in most, most likely. And we're probably going to keep this set up here. And then we can move this one later. Uh, but yeah, these guys... How's our Uvu do doing? We're gonna run out. When this is depleted, we're gonna build a new Uvu here. And then we will lose kind of the ability to research. So we want to make sure this is done before we move. So we got all the upgrades. What are you doing? Okay. building we still have plenty of cap space so no reason why we shouldn't be building destroying buildings we get bonuses alright there are units over there that we might have to
a strong patrol. So spearmen go towards the horse people, horsemen go to or archers, and then archers take out spearmen. Rock, paper, scissors. There's some gold over there in the meantime, but we need to defeat this one first. Which we will, we're gonna ride in here. They will have some defensive units. Every villager we take out means they have to rebuild. Oh, maybe we already took out the defensive structures. Keep building. We're gonna lose lots of units. Um, all right, so the question is, you're almost empty. We are fully researched, so we can move. You want to get the research early. Makes your units better. Boom. Alright, so... Here's the deal. You're going to move up here. You're going to be our secondary force. We're going to still produce some. Alright. dried up so we're gonna need to build a new one which we will in the back up do pincer movement Keep producing units. They just like wiped us out. Economy's doing okay. We just have to just keep producing units. Uh, we're kind of coming in from the back door. So we can destroy their economy. Get 
the cavalry on those guys. This ain't over yet. I'm gonna destroy everything else first. We screwed that up. Question is, where is that force going to come? Will it attack us? Yanchong fell to the Mongols, and nothing now stood between Genghis Khan and the Great Wall. All right. We're going to patrol because we want to bring all our buildings. It was time to face the Qin head on at the Great Mountain Pass at Juyong. They all made it. Great. So we're going to actually advance a little further up. Um, we're going to just keep, this is going to be our food production base right here. Um, Uh, just put in a hut here and we're gonna have um, another few people working on trees here can we move you over here Shh. all right we're gonna wait to have you guys advance You know what, I think it's fine if we set up shop. Alright, we're gonna actually have you build another archery range. And we're gonna just do three and three, so that's right. Let's keep advancing. Oh, 
We already got all our upgrades, so we should be in good shape. And you're gonna do another barracks here. Okay. Um, always be producing. Oh no. Oh gosh. We screwed this up royally. That was horrible. Okay. Gotta like We're gonna produce a bunch of heavy cavalry. Because we're kind of on a hill and it doesn't really do us much good. Question is will this pull them? It might. Yep.
Oh boy. Uh, we need to really hockey these to make it a little bit easier. There we go. Max that out. Max that out. We're just sending endless units up. Should be in pretty good shape now. We just cannot produce enough units. Grassland stormed the Great Wall. The formidable barricade, thought insurmountable, finally bent to the will of Genghis Khan. Uh, now we can bring in some heavy. Cavalry and Mangu die. They still have like a lot of... Alright, we just are gonna kind of relocate um, our idle, idle villagers.
It seems like we're creating infinite, but we're really not. Like, it goes by very quickly. Get some siege weapons going. Send these into the keep. These towers just kind of help us secure the area. This took a lot longer than I expected. Just like a war of attrition. Yong Pass burned to the ground, giving the Mongols a secure route into the heart of Qin territory. As pillars of smoke billowed from the mountain pass, Genghis Khan charged forward into new lands and on to his ultimate goal, the wealthy Qin capital of Zhongdu. So that one was a little more difficult than I anticipated. So you, the key there is you want to hit the little encampments that are going to send units your way and then just keep charging forward and make sure you just keep producing, producing, producing. So if you do want to go on, if you do want to see more of the campaign mongolian or otherwise please drop a comment please like and if you want to support the channel please consider subscribing thanks so much for watching and hope to see you in future videos shadow coast out